Okay. So I hope you completed the day two assignment of interfacing. So interfacing in, in general, we have, let's say around four marks weightage for this topic, four to five marks, they will give weightage out of the 20 marks of SQL. So I'm starting with, there are only two things that you have to remember. So usually, usually till the last previous year, it was like they had given you fill in the blanks, you have to fill it. And that is what was the expected pattern. Now that they had included this format, they have included this in the syllabus as a new uh, addition this year. So I'm expecting as per your sample paper, I'm expecting that they could ask you a question wherein you have to write a program. So it is also very easy. You just have to remember a few steps to do this program. So there's a sample one I've given here for you for your reference for the doing the assignment. The one is the any other DML command. So there are only two types. One is whether you're using your insert, update, delete. So when you're going to use those queries, you have one pattern to follow. Whatever you can see here is the old format. So using old format, if I have to execute a statement, how will I do it? But now I think after Python 3 version, it is only format function is being used much more easier and convenient to use. So it is better that you learn the format function, right? So in any program, whatever they give, what they can change is they can only change the instead of role number, name, date of birth fees. They could have different fields in the question. So here this question, I'm trying to insert some these four fields into a table and my table name is student. So how do I do it? First is I always import my MySQL. So installation is all you can always refer to my previous videos where I have told you how to install MySQL connector, how to connect it with using pip install and how to connect and all those instru instructions are there if at all you want to try it. But I hope you have finished your practical. So it's only a theory exam. So if you're already a little familiar with how it works, then yes, it's a very easy thing to do. First is you have to import. That is the first thing. And I am given as yum. So I don't want to repeat mysql.connector every time. So I'm using any word yum here. So now connection is equal to my m dot connect. If I'm not using m, if it is a fill in the blank, it has to be mysql dot connector dot connect, right? So always, these are all keyword arguments. So I can have it in any order, doesn't matter at all. And this database is optional. But if I don't give the database here, my first statement itself has to be use test. Then only I can start writing any of the commands. So it is better that you put database is equal to test here itself. Any, any other database name they have given in the question for you. Right. So first step is you import. Next step is you create a connection object and then I'm creating a cursor object. So cursor is connection dot cursor. Then depending on how many fields are there in the question, it is going to be A, B, C, D. I've just used names there. You can use meaningful names like roll number, name, date of birth, fees. Right. So once you insert them, just have to be careful. There should be no space here in between the brackets and uh, for integers and float. You don't use your quotes. Same way, if you start with a single quote, finish with a single quote. And here for strings, use double quotes. Do not mix the quotes. You have to either use it single quotes here or double quotes here. It's your choice, but you have to be consistent in using it. So after you close the command, there is a dot format function. It will take the arguments in the same order. So whichever order you're given the bracket as, it will take it in the same order. And then you have your execute. So you have step one, two, three, creating a cursor, get all the input values for, and then you create a command. Sometimes in the exam, they will just give execute the command. So they combine this execute step. So this is my fifth step basically, wherein I execute the command. I can create the command separately or put it here. Both are the same. So once I am done, then important step is my commit. So these are your six steps which are common for any program. So if not student, they can ask you employee, any other bank, book, whatever table, just lead the question. You have to just change it here for you, right? So this is regarding your first model of program, which they could ask you to write a program for this purpose. There are only four programs possible. They can ask you to insert, update, delete, or select. So for insert, update, and delete, this is the syntax. We'll move on to select. Select is a slightly different one because this is the syntax here. I'm going to do a select for you. So I'm going to do the program directly, right? So select, I have the same import. I have the connection. I have the cursor and I'm getting the roll number and I'm selecting the details for you, right? So let's first finish off the bottom program and then come back to the program number one. So the last question that is there for you is they have given a table item and they're given you details. So always line one, complete line one. So complete line one is going to be import mysql.connector 
as this is important because they have said mysql dot connect which means they have importing this with the name mysql so the first full line carries one mark for you and complete this line one this is what line one is for us right now second complete line two to create the cursor object so you, you have to just use my cursor is equal to con one dot cursor i would suggest use this my cursor is equal to con one dot and write this cursor and underline it because they know that this is the entire line for you and then complete the query given in line three to display details of all such items from the table items whose price is more than 5000 so you're going to complete the query so select star from item where price is greater than an empty bracket and format what they have directly given there is actually no need to format here also but yes price is greater than directly I again 5000 whatever value is here i can directly put it here format is not only for values it will also take constants there so where price is greater than wherever that empty bracket is in that place whatever you give in format will be put there so price is greater than 5000 so complete line 4 to extract all the records so they are going to do a fetch all right so here i have to just say So just completion, completion of all these statements. If you can remember one select program, I think you can easily do the fill in the blanks later, right? So coming back to your second question, we'll do this also. Again, establish a connection, statement one. Okay, so here they have already given password is equal to what? They have given the password here as tiger. So I just have to change this to tiger. So for statement one, complete the statement one, whatever you wrote as new, just underline it and rewrite the entire statement because it's worth one full marks. Write statement two to create the cursor object. It's the same thing. It's going to be con one dot cursor. Query. Complete statement three. Okay. To remove the record from the table. Remove the record means delete based on the item name entered by the user so user has given an item name so i have to write a delete query so i can just say query is equal to delete from the table name is given as item where use the same column names i name is equal to item underscore name right we can't do this we have to do that empty bracket thing right item name is equal to with the single quotes dot format item underscore name that's it right so delete from item where i name is equal to item name whatever item name you got from the user so statement three this is the answer for the c question complete statement four to save the changes in the tables very easy statement i have to just say connection dot commit they can always confuse you here what are we committing? We are committing the connection, not the cursor. You have to remember that. So, con1.commit is to make the changes, save the changes, make the changes permanent. However, they ask you, the answer is going to be the same. So, all these are less than five minute questions for us. You just have to read the question properly, right? This, this question is there in the additional question paper, additional practice paper. And in compartment paper, similar question they had asked. You can see that what are they asking us to do? to form the cursor object. So my cursor is equal to here. My connection name is my DB. If you look at all these question, only the object names are changing my DB dot cursor to write the query to display all the records from the table. So execute select star from bookshop. So already brackets are there. So only this is your underline here. B details is equal to. So they will have given you exactly what you have to do. So statement three is read the complete result of the query into the object name B underscore details. So they have given B underscore details equal to your my cursor dot fetch all. And after you fetch, you are going to just print all the details. Right. So now coming back to our program question. 
This is there in the sample question paper. So it is better that we practice all these models there, right? So now they are, it's just a display. So let's go back and try to type this program alone here. Let me open my Edly. So it's given, the fields are given, the username, password, and host is also given. So let me take an already existing program. Okay, I've taken the insert program that I just showed you as sample one. Let me modify it so that I can, I hope you're able to see the screen, right? Let me share the screen. Okay. Okay. So import mysql.connector as cm and then I have used a cursor till this will not change for me. So let me delete the other things. And there is no need for a commit also in a select statement. So what are we asking? Display the records whose fees is more than 5,000. It's already given. There is no need to get anything from the user also. So you can also delete this line. Okay. So I've created a cursor. Now, what is my next step? In any select query, after I create a cursor, I have to fetch everything, right? I have to first write my command now. So let me directly write the command. I can say command is equal to select star from See here, the table named student is there. For me also, the table name is student only in my database. Select star from student where? Let me go and check my table here. My table is having capital FE. Okay. Doesn't actually matter. T is greater than 5000. So... Ideally, I can directly write this query. I don't even have to use a format here because there is no need to format anything. It's just directly going to work. So I, I can write the query and I can just say uh, command dot execute. Cursor dot execute command. Done. Now, once I have executed the command, the values are waiting there in the cursor for me. So I have to say, let's say some D is equal to cursor dot fetch all. So I've fetched all the details for each row in D. Print row. So this is going to print me all the values. And I think I have finish it is a there's no need for commit because we're not changing anything let's just add something here so i have a 500 already right so let me insert another row insert into student values uh, let me give some roll number as triple four name as and let me have my date of birth as something 2020 Let me make it 6,000. So I can see a tick, tick mark here. So those who are practicing also, try to practice from your MySQL workbench. MySQL is very, very important even from your college point of view, right? So if, if you don't have any other better job to do, I would suggest learn Python very well in this 20 days so that you can confidently speak in your interviews also, right? So insert into student values, this is done. Now I'll let me go back to my Python. And if I run this program, now I should see on screen this one value, that is triple four should be displayed on the screen for me. So let's check it once again. I have imported correctly. I have created a connection and then I have created a cursor. See, I have used my username and password for this program. Whereas in the question paper, the password is different. It's tiger or something. I think you have to use that instead of this. Cursor, select star, execute. Hopefully let's run this. I've given a wrong format of date. So it is displaying the date in a different format, but that's fine still. I have got the record which I wanted. I've got the but only one record. Actually, there are four records there. Two of them have null for the fees and one has, if you look at this table, right? 
it is having a uh, select star from student. You can see that one fee is 500, so it is not displaying that 500. So I have given a fee as 6,000, so it is printing only that value for me on the screen. So that was your assignment. The last, the first question of your assignment, which is from the sample question paper. And this is going to be your program for that, right? Hope you completed this. So complete the next assignment also. I'll post the answers for that.